Imagine a product that mops your floors without you having to lift a finger. The future is here with something called a robotic mop. But are they too good to be true? As Vic Nicolucci tells us, Consumer Reports just put them to the test, and this morning, we have the results. Cleaning your floors just got a whole lot easier thanks to this invention. It looks like a robotic vacuum, but is actually a robotic mop. Never heard of a robo-mop? Consumer Reports' Tyler Ivester explains what they're all about. You have your more basic ones that you control by via remote control, and then you have uh, hybrid ones that are capable of both mopping and vacuuming. You can control these ones via an app. Robotic mops are designed to clean hard surface floors like tile, vinyl, and some hardwood, not carpet. To test how well a robotic mop can actually mop, Consumer Reports testers spilled espresso and V8 juice on the ceramic tile and vinyl flooring, and then they let it dry. The best robo-mops tackle the stains and leave a clean floor behind. Hint, models with spinning mop heads did the best job. For a navigation test, we assess how well the mops are able to avoid obstacles. We see how well they steer on furniture, as well as how they interact with both cords and carpet fringe. In Consumer Reports tests, this pricey hybrid model from Narwhal, which is now on sale, came out on top, and it has an auto-clean function that will wash the spinning mop heads as well. For much less money, this basic Samsung mop, which is also on sale, matched the Narwhal test for test, but it will not clean itself. As a bonus, it can also be used as a handheld scrubber for services like your shower. One downside of the Samsung, it's more than five inches tall, which means it may not fit under some furniture or the toe kick of your kitchen cabinets. If that's an issue for you, the $212 Bissell Spin Wave also did well in Consumer Reports tests, and it is less than three and a half inches tall. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station. All right, so if you're wondering how long it takes for a robo-mop to clean your floors, Consumer Reports says the models that it rated range from 50 to 100 minutes. To learn more about robotic mops, we have a direct link to Consumer Reports' buying guide on what's available and what to look for. Just go to newsforjax.com slash consumerreports.